Hi everyone and welcome back to today's morning report on Wednesday the 29th of June with me which is Paramarket Analyst at Antec Markets. Let's look at Eurodoll now. We have seen a slight calming of sentiment um, in the last sort of day or so and that produced a bit of an intraday rally, uh, sorry, a, a rally yesterday, about 40 ticks or so. Um, is it the start of recovery? Well, I said, and I have said repeatedly over, over the last few months that... Um, 10.50 to 11 figure is a big long-term pivot band and now we're trading underneath that and it sort of peaked out 11.10 so it's arguably 10 pips above that but I still think that this is a, a resistance band and the fact is that the euro isn't really being able to manage to find that momentum to break back above that resistance band so having broken below it that's becoming a basis of resistance um, and he's sort of flat, pretty much flat on the day, slightly higher, like 10 ticks up on the day. Um, but again, as I said, it's like, I still think this is this is a calming of of, um, of the selling pressure, yes, but is it the end of the selling pressure? I'm not entirely sure. Because what we've seen here is obviously this, uh, this huge sell-off um, starting to settle down into far more calms trading on the euro dollar. That's fine. But is it the basis of what we're going to see as a as a, a sustainable recovery in the euro, I'm not entirely sure. You've got the initial resistance, as I said, at one eleven ten, but I think generally between, around that to sort of one eleven, sorry, um, uh, generally around uh, one dollar eleven. I think that that's a big resistance area. I think the ch the outlook would change on a move. I mean, one eleven eighty eight is the reaction high on the day of Brexit, but on this chart, you'd sort of argue that, um, or the longer term chart, you'd sort of argue around sort of twelve figure seems to be around where the sort of that was an old pivot. But I mean, the old pivot was sort of twelve fifteen, um, and that seems to still be in place. And I think that's also, if you zoom out, the underside pretty much the underside of this old uptrend which is perfectly possible we could come back to test so I think you'd need to see a sustainable move above 12 um, one dollar twelve I think to really improve the sentiment uh, on a sustainable level and just at the moment it doesn't look likely um, you've still got a, a sort of corrective outlook on these momentum indicators uh, with the RSI sort of around that 40 level, MACD lines falling, stochastics falling. So I think generally speaking, you're still in the mindset of selling into rallies on, on the euro dollar ever since that Brexit decision because you're not really seeing the recovery coming through. And um, yeah, I, I think that that is uh, the outlook that um, I'm taking from these charts. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.